the Muscle Park Tank. The second video I've done to my build series. The first one was about Crew Sheaf. I will link that video by playlist in the description. In this Muscle setup, I went for an LMG. I prefer the M60 due to its high damage. Also, the KSP light machine gun is a great choice. So is the Buster because of its high fire rate. However, feel free to use any LMG that you prefer. Second there is the Compact 40 Grenade Launcher. It has the same damage as the GL40 that I used in the crew chief setup. It is capable of one hitting seal units. As grenades I went for the flashbangs, the Barca again, medic bags and the ICTV. For skills I took the medic bags up to inspire ace. I also went for converts and hostage tanker because muscle is also a health related prank tank. And because of the 30% health increase by converts, we are actually able to take two shots from heavy seal units. One thing I want to note here is you don't really need to go for first aid kits on muscle because the health region is actually so incredible high because the perk itself actually gives health regen. And combine that with the hostage tanker on ace, this is incredible fast. So for that kits are pretty pointless. And force I went for underdog ace. This is because the ICTV only has 221 armor by itself. And the seal units do 225 damage, so it's a one hit always. So to go against that, we have underdog ace to get a 10% damage reduction. That actually grants us to take one shot from heavy seals. That doesn't sound like much, but it truly does wonders. We also have resilience ace, because flashbangs die hard basic for the sweet damage reduction, shotgun away against shields, bullseye for decent armor getting, and our man ace for the ICTV. In technician, I just went for steady grip for more accuracy and stability. In Ghost I took some movement skills, so we are not slow as a turtle. Here I went for the same setup that I used on the Crucif build. By having the Professional for more stability and accuracy. Hyrule will chunk it so I can kill special units easier. And Unseen Strike basic, just to get those us easier out of the way with the LMGs. And Optical Illusions here, because why not. And nothing in Fugitive. I feel like some people dislike this. Same as on the Crucif build, because I don't go for 9 lives for a death sentence 1 down build. It's because I'm not used to have 9 lives. I'm used to play without it. If you really want to have 9 lives ace, you could play around here with the build I guess. Maybe move like static grip or whatever and get 9 lives. It's up to you. But I would keep this set up. I myself don't really see a reason for 9 lives, and you probably will barely see me using this skill here in any of the other builds that I will be making in the future. <laughs> 